Hello everyone and uh, welcome to Code Essentials KE. Uh, today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a select element using HTML and JavaScript. So before we continue, make sure that you have created a folder in your preferred directory, let's say in your desktop or in your local disk. Then you come here and, uh, and uh, drag and drop to your VS Code or you can navigate to where you have saved your folder. So when you open your VS Code, you will find that there is a folder here uh, with your preferred name or the name you have saved. Then as you can see, we have an icon for new file, another icon for new folder. So for us, we are going to create a new file and we are going to name it um, example.html. Uh, so this is a working environment, uh, example.html, oops, let me rename it, so example.html, as you can see, so we can type HTML, We can type HTML, HTML boilerplate. So this HTML boilerplate generates an automatic code for HTML body. As you can see, we have other commented codes, uh, which we do, we do not need them right now. So we can just remove them. So you can remove the unwanted codes like that. In here like that so we also gonna need javascript so as you can see the boilerplate generated an automatic javascript or script tag and uh, it has a source and a sync differ which we are not going to use so we can just delete so let's come to the title and give uh, our work a title Let's say uh, example that way. So let's go to the body section and create and create a select element. So select element and give it an ID. Give it an ID. of students then from there um, we start creating our options for select so we're going to use an option tag so let's say option that way option let's give it a value so a value of let's say our students we're going to name our students so let's say louis as our student one louis then um his name is louis then we are going to copy this and paste it more times that way then uh, for the second option we are not going to use Louis but uh, another name let's say Micah that option let's say uh, Jim uh, fourth option let's say Oscar Oscar. Then our last option, let's call it Mary. Right? Uh, then from there, we're going to move out of the select tag. Let's go out of the select tag and create a button. 
so the element button that way then this button is going to take an on click function because of the javascript so on click function and the and uh, the value of the function is get get value function that way make sure you put a semicolon because if you miss it then your code is not going to run so the value for button or the name for a button is going to be get get value that way so let's open our project in the live server so that we see uh, what is actually happening so right click open in live server and you can see our select element has the names of the values Louis, Michael, Jim, and so on. But when we click on the get value button, nothing is happening because we have not defined the function in JavaScript. So let's go back to JavaScript. So make sure that your JavaScript or your script tag is at the at the at the end of the body. So script tag. And here we're going to define our type, script type. And the type is going to be a text stroke JavaScript. That way. Then inside our JavaScript or our inside our script tag, we're going to define a function function get value function get value then uh, let's declare a variable so var value equal to document document dot get element by id because we are using ID and our ID is students. So variable value equal to document dot get element by ID. And our ID is students. Students that way. And so we're gonna we're gonna return the value so dot value. So the value is the name of the students. Then we want an alert function to display in the browser after we click the button. So alert, alert, and this alert is going to take a value that we want to display in the browser. So let's open our browser once more open with live server as you can see we have uh, the select element Louis. so let's click on the get value button then as you can see the alert function appears here that says the value is Louis. so let's say okay let's select another value like gym then get value so as you can see, our alert function displays gym. So this is how to create an uh, uh, how to create a select element using HTML and JavaScript. Thank you for watching, and also don't forget to subscribe to Code Essentials for more videos like this. Thank you.